Let's go over the M100 tabulator preparation. As always, instructions will be provided for you on election day. First, you want to verify that all compartments of the ballot box are empty. Once you have done that, you want to close and lock all the compartments, and all of the compartments should remain closed and locked until after 7 p.m. and all of the voters have left the polling place. Remember to open the flap, and that's where the ballot drops in, and then feed the power cord through the ballot box. Verify that that memory card is sealed in the tabulator, and then load the tabulator and attach the power cord, and lift and lock the front flap. Locate and insert the key into the tabulator, turn the key to the open close pull position, and after the tape prints, press yes, and then turn the key to vote. The zero tape will print. You need to check the date and the time on the tape for accuracy and verify that that zero tape has no votes cast. You want to check for the correct precinct name and number and compare the tape to the specimen ballot. And then once all of that has checked out, each judge must sign the zero tape. Don't forget to verify that the display count is also set to zero. Now your M100 tabulator is ready for your voters. Now let's go over the auto mark preparation. Again, instructions will be provided to you. The auto mark is a ballot marking device with accessibility features such as a keypad with braille and headphones. The first thing you want to do is locate the power cord and make sure it is plugged into the machine and an electrical outlet. And then you want to slide the latches out to open the cover and lift the cover up. Lift and lower the ballot feed tray forward into position. Raise the monitor and close the cover with the monitor in an upright position and the latches will sturdy the monitor to stay upright. Go ahead and turn the key to the on position and then remove the key. And your auto mark is ready. Now let's go over the M100 tabulator shutdown. And as always, instructions will be provided. First, turn the key to the open close pull position. Press close polls and the results table print. Press results report for more copies if requested. And all judges must sign each tape unless it was a tape requested by a poll watcher, and then you don't have to sign those tapes. And turn the tabulator key to the off position. And then go ahead and follow your election authority's instructions on how they would like you to deal with the machine at the end of the night. Some might ask you to bring the whole tabulator back to the counting center, whereas others may just ask for the memory card. So just make sure to follow their instructions. Now, let's go over the AutoMark shutdown. Locate the key and turn the key to the off position. Go ahead and slide the latches out. Lower the monitor into place and pull up the ballot feed tray. Close the machine cover and slide the latches to close the machine. 
follow your election authority's instructions on what to do with the auto mark at the end of the night. Many jurisdictions just have you leave it closed like this in the polling place. Some may have you bring it back to the counting center, so make sure to follow their instructions.